Good morning, everyone. Uh, in New Testament times, we see it amongst the Pharisees and the scribes and the Sadducees. There were people who um, lived according to status. In other words, how they were recognized in society. Um, that came about through uh, being promoted themselves, allowing themselves to, to be recognized, but, but also to, to get wealth and to get power and to be able to exercise that over others. Even uh, in the, the times of the early church, there have been times when people would, would gain power and wealth so that they could have influence within the church. And they would do that even as becoming clergy. And yet we're told uh, pride comes before the fall. If we're too proud and push ourselves high, invariably we do fall. When we think about world leaders of the past, um, those who, who perhaps were tyrants, they fell, they did fall. And, and regardless of what ideals we try to push, if they're not in Christ, then they are meaningless. St. Luke in chapter 6 gives us his version of the Beatitude, which is not as elaborate as St. Matthew's Gospel or in the Sermon of the Mount. Uh, but he says, Happy are you who make sacrifices for the Lord. Rejoice, for your reward will be great in heaven. But alas for those who prize only the things of this world, they will weep and mourn. So those who, who attempt to gain gratification, status and so forth, just for their own sake in this world. It's not going to get them anywhere as far as the Lord is concerned. So we need to put a little humility, see what it is that God really wants us to do, and then go out and be those people. And that'll bring happiness. Maybe not necessarily in this world, but it'll bring the happiness that the Lord offers us, that joy, that that richness in our lives, that security of knowing that we are doing His will. So you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.